Dolph Ziggler. Ricochet. AJ Styles. Becky Lynch. Dolph Ziggler. Freaking Rollins. This is Brett Alive on YouTube. What is going on guys, Brett Alive back with another video and today we have the first video review of Elite 89. This could be the best Elite set of all time. I've yet to get any of the figures out of the packaging yet, but like I said, part one, we're going to be reviewing Dominic Mysterio, Nia Jax, and Damian Priest. We picked these figures up from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com using discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10%. Feel free to use it for yourself, save some money, especially on Elite 89, because I have a feeling these figures are going to be put on back order very, very soon. Literally, the pre literally each and every one of these figures in front of me, insta insane. Stay tuned for part two, Drew McIntyre, Sergeant Slaughter, and Bobby Lash. It's going to be dropping very, very soon, but before we jump into the unboxing, we got to take a look at this brand new packaging, dude. Here we go. You got all the superstars on the side. You can see Priest, Nia, and Dominic there. The WWE logo at the top, Elite Collection on the bottom. It just looks super official. I love just the vibe I'm getting from the packaging. There's a look at the front. You can see the window where you can see the figure, the superstar, especially on Dominic's. It does say first time in the line. That's the only thing special with this packaging because it's his first freaking figure, man. You got to make it a little special. And then you do have the curve on the side of the packaging. I love this, by the way. It reminds me of like the classic like 2014, 2013 packaging with the curve. I love that. On the side, it does say the name again, Elite 89, True Effects Head Scan Technology, and the Authentic Patch at the bottom. And then on the back, very similar to all the other packaging in the past, we got some minor read-ups at the bottom there, some stats with the superstars, and then the other people in the set on the bottom. You got Drew McIntyre, Dominic, Bobby Lashley, Damian Priest, Sergeant Slaughter, and Nia Jax. Gonna start off with Damian Priest. One more look at him inside of the packaging. There he is. And let's get him out of the box. This could be the best figure of the year. It really could be. Guys, this Damien Priest figure is insane, dude. Oh my gosh. Literally insane. Okay, we're going to take a closer look before we do. Interchangeable hands-wise, he comes fisted, open, and then you can't see me hands, um, which is a really solid set of interchangeable hands. You're getting three sets, which is awesome. Here is the figure. Woo! What? <laughs> Dude, this is, oh my gosh, this is literally, looks. Ex this looks exactly like Damien Priest. I am geeking out right now. This one looks insane. So let's start off first with the, en uh, with the entrance jacket that he's coming with. He's got the black entrance jacket with the silver zippers. Brand new mold, by the way. We've never seen this mold of an entrance jacket. You're also getting the uh, little shoulder pads there with the metal, or the like the steel looking color. Yeah, but a very, very nice entrance jacket. Obviously, would have preferred cloth, but you know, you're not always going to get what you want when it comes to a Mattel Elite figure, but it's still a really nice accessory. Here's the figure itself look at that beauty beautiful beautiful figure look at that head scan that looks exactly like damian priest oh my gosh amazing he's got the fade on the sides and then of course he's got the long hair reminds me of drew mcintyre a little bit he's got some hair going to the front and then most of it in the back i like that how it's not all in the back but a lot of it's not in the front because it just it just looks realistic. He also does come with another accessory, but this one's technically not removable unless you take the head off. He's got a little cross here, which looks really nice, or like a Damien Priest-esque cross. It's, uh, again, it's on there unless you want to remove the head scan. To do detail-wise, insane. He's got the two tattoos on his chest there, fully decked out arm sleeves, decked out with the tattoos, double-jointed elbows, nailed it times two. I love these wrist gauntlets, by the way. These are very cool. It's like a... It's like a really nice molded like material of a wrist gauntlet. You can like feel like all the different studs on it and everything. Here's the look at this side. Very, very nice. I love again the arm that oh, the like the arm detail and the arm tattoo. Flipping it around now to the main tattoo on the back, you can see that it's sort of like a crossbones tattoo. You can see the bones up in the top and the bottom left and right corners there. Really, just really nice detail on this thing. Moving down to the tights. Oh, this is the main attraction, in my opinion, of the figure. Look at these things. Purple, silver, and black. What a deco. Literally insane. This is all molded on. This stitching right here. Fully molded on as well as the belt. So you could completely feel all of this. Moving all the way onto the back. You can see the pockets there which are also molded on. Brand new piece there for the little uh, crotch area. Looks amazing. And then you also got more stitching going down his legs. Look at this. You could feel all of this. This is so freaking awesome. Knee pads look great. The left knee pad is silver with some black studs. And then the right just basically has this little black line doesn't look too bad at all there's a look at the back 
back of the kick pads and then the front of the kick pads sort of like a metal looking design it's uh sort of again like a silverish like metal looking design with these silver studs with the black lines and then you got the black soles what a figure dude and one thing i really wanted to do um the most recent apollo cruise figure from elite 87 boom i recommend getting it because you can put the united states championship with this priest figure if you have that apollo so i definitely recommend getting that apollo cruise figure so you can do that just wanted to do a little comparison here. Here is the newest basic of Damien Priest compared to his Elite. And, um, yeah, I think we know who takes this one. <laughs> oh my god. What a difference. What a freaking difference between these two figures. We're going to be taking a closer look at Nia Jax next here. We already got a look at the packaging. There's a look at her in the box for the last time. And let's get her out. People always say in the comments, Brett, stop overreacting. Stop overreacting about these figures. Dude, these are look freaking insane. Elite 89 is already looking to be one of the best Elite series of all time. I will keep you guys posted. Stay tuned for part two. You guys will get an answer. Because Elite 69 is my favorite Elite series of all time currently. Um, not just because of the number, obviously. But um, yeah, it, currently, that's my favorite set. This might be taking that throne. Anyways, jumping into the Nia Jax action figure. Here she is in all of her glory, and this looks exactly like Nia Jax. The proportions, the championship, the head scan, in all insane. All insane. She is coming with a set of fisted interchangeable hands, as well as the open interchangeable hands, which I already have on the figure. And then as far as the other accessory that we're getting, we are getting the other half of the Women's Tag Team Championships. And like I said in the unboxing video, I did get the Alexa Bliss that came with this title. So now I have two. So now I have a one set of women's tag team titles. That's really cool. It's a really nice size belt. It's an accurate size belt. Unlike the WWE women's championships that they do, the SmackDown Robins championships are so oversized for the women's figures. This perfect size, super accurate size. And I love the design of that title. Here is the Nia. Dude, starting off with the head scan. That looks exactly like Nia Jax. The makeup, the facial expression, every Everything just reminds me of Nia Jax, and it looks exactly like her. This is the hair that she's been rocking very recently. She likes to change her hair design, uh, her, her, I'm sorry, hairstyle a bunch. So uh, Mattel actually released in Elite 64 a bunch, uh, a bunch of Nia Jax head scans with one figure because she changes her hair so much. Here's another hair design that she has here. Just basically the long dyed hair right here is like a brownish blonde going all the way around. It looks so realistic. As far as the attire goes, look at this gear, dude. It's like a combination of red, black, and gold. Just another insane combo of colors there. Basically, everything's just lined in gold. You could feel all this. All this is molded on. I love the black like lining going on top of the red, by the way. She's got these little gold like uh, pad things on the side, and it doesn't inhibit articulation at all, which I think is awesome. You could still get all that articulation without it getting inhibited. Here's a look at the arms. There's a brand new mold of arms because you could feel this stitching. And then also, if you guys are wondering if she does have double-jointed elbows, she does. She still does. It is right under that little gold piece which is technically removable you could remove that little gold piece there if you wanted to not exactly sure why you would want to but you could if you wanted to and then you also do have the black wrist tape at the ends there and then moving down to the tights you do have this like more just gold stitching this is just painted on you can't feel any of that which i'm not really too bothered by there's a look at the back just continuing of the red and the black detail with the gold. Oh, this is such a good figure. And then moving down, she does have the black boots. And one thing that I've always I've always had a gripe with this with the Nia Jax figures is the boots. They just, I don't know, these are like, this is a basic style of boot. And like, just give us the elite style. Why can't you just put like the elite style of boot? Because we're not getting the ankle pivot. You know, this is a basic style of boot. You're not going to get all the articulation as if it like is supposed to be an elite. That's my only gripe with the figure. And that we're just not getting any double jointed uh, knees. Last, but certainly not least, Dom Toretto. No, Dominic Mysterio, dude. Let's go, man. We got Rey Mysterio's son right here. We did just get a very recent Rey Mysterio uh, in the last Elite set of Elite 88. Amazing Mysterio, by the way. I will be popping it in the frame, doing a little comparison with that. Um, But yes, here is the Dominic. First time in the line. Fantastic looking figure. And we are going to get it out of the box in three, two, one. Here we have Dominic Mysterio out of the packaging, and just like the Priest and just like the Naya, I'm blown away. Mattel 
shout out to you guys um you guys are kicking butt over there literally this set i've only unboxed three of the figures i haven't even finished the set and this set is so freaking stacked uh the dominic figure let's jump into it i'm just so starstruck how good these figures are um fisted and open interchangeable hands he does come with i love the option that we're getting there and we are getting a kendo stick with this figure of course with the um rivalry that he had with seth freaking rollins which was absolutely horrendous in my opinion but the figure is still cool and to get a kendo stick is always an awesome accessory i'm glad we are getting this you got the white little handle there and then it is taped at the top with a bamboo just a very realistic cool looking kendo stick i'm always a big fan of getting those i only have like two other ones so it's gonna be pretty cool to add another one to the butter live collection as far as the dominic figure goes they nailed it times two here's a look at the head scan i like the stern face or expression no just over exaggerated open mouth head scans with these figures i just like the stern straight up head scans just like this and it looks great you can minorly see his muscles mustache above his mouth which looks fantastic uh minor gripe you just have a little paint coming down from his hair right there it's like a little line uh it doesn't bother me too much but it would it would be pretty cool if it wasn't there i like the hair it kind of reminds me of mine just you know straight up to the side it like really reminds me of my haircut dang um but yeah pretty cool mysterio head scan there and then moving down to the torso you do have um this reminds me of uh seth rollins old uh entrance vest that he used to wear with like the pecs and the abs which are like engraved you got the red and yellow pec logos at the top and then the six pecs outlined there with the logos it just looks really freaking superman-esque and just like superhero-esque i don't even know it says dm on the back of course for dominic mysterio got more of those logos going on and then moving to the arms double jointed so far every single figure in this set has had double jointed elbows and that's insane he does have a little tattoo on his um right wrist there or should i say forearm looks pretty nice the left shoulder there you're getting another mysterio tattoo this one's very obvious when he's in the ring so i do recognize that one very much there looks great with the red there's the inside of the arms there moving down to the tights themselves continuing the trend of the yellow blue and red it's continuing here on the trunks, especially with the belt. Looks really nice. Here's a look at the Mysterio side. Very, very nice. Mysterio logos, the question marks, keeping it going with some blue lines, the yellow outlining. Moving down to the kick pads, oh, the detail doesn't stop. It really doesn't. Yeah, again, it just reminds me of like a superhero figure. You got the little king crown right there, and then more little arrow logos going down. Topping it off with the white shoes, and then you're also getting the black soles at the bottom. And like I said, if you picked up the most recent Rey Mysterio figure in Elite 88, I believe, you could put it right next to it, and and these look amazing next to each other. Both just very colorful gears, the tattoo detail. But yes, guys, that has been the review of the Dominic Mysterio, Nia Jax, and Damian Priest Elite figures from Elite 89. Once again, I picked them up from Ringside Collectibles Wrestling Figures .com using discount code LAVA. Check out to save 10%. I love all these figures. I definitely recommend all of them, especially the Priest. And the Dominic, and the, they're, they're all super freaking good, um, uh, but especially the Priest and Dominic because we haven't seen their characters too much in the uh, figure line before. But yes, guys, that has been the part one review of Elite 89, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. Bread Alive, uh, out.